Two weeks ago, China surprised the world with a new Chinese model that literally changed the rules of the game. This model outperformed all the American models, from ChatGPT and others. Did Google stay silent? Of course not. Not even a week passed before Google responded with the strongest model in history to prevent another deep seek scenario. It honestly feels like we're living in a movie, except with a plot nobody can predict. But even though Google's model is superior, people are still using the Chinese model. And in this video, I'm going to explain in detail why people are choosing the Chinese model despite Google's advantage, why this difference even matters, and, more importantly, what the capabilities of both models are, what they can do, and what their limitations are. To understand why the Chinese model is special, we first need to understand what open source models are. AI models basically go through two simple stages. Training. We take a massive amount of data and train the model using GPUs, similar to the graphics card in your PC. Just way more powerful, usually from NVIDIA. These GPUs are expensive because the data is huge, basically the entire internet. You can imagine the model running on thousands of GPUs costing tens of millions of dollars, consuming a lot of power until a neural network is created. After training, every time you want to use the model, you still need a strong GPU. Not as much as training, but still powerful. So we have data processed by GPUs, produces a model, model needs GPUs to run. Companies like Google and OpenAI do the following. When you send a request, it gets processed at their data centers. And once the model finishes processing, it sends the answer back to you. These are called closed models. They only work on the company's servers. The problem? No privacy. Your data goes to the company. If the internet suddenly goes down, you lose access. And you need to pay for them to run the model. So you have cost plus no privacy plus constant internet required. The solution was something called open source models. The company trains the model, but releases it to the public for free. You download it and run it on your own hardware. Now you pay the cost of electricity and GPU, but you get privacy and the model works even if the internet dies. But here's the catch. Closed models are almost always better than open source models because companies don't want to spend millions training a model only to release it for free. But China changed everything. In December last year, China released DeepSeek, an open source Chinese model that outperformed ChatGPT4 at the time. But after that, closed models kept dominating until even OpenAI released an open source model that was insanely fast, smart, and beat all other open source models, including DeepSeek. At that point, the US was winning both the closed model game and the open source game. Until November 6, three weeks ago, a small unknown Chinese company released an open source model called Kimi2. Not only is it open source, you can literally download it and run it on your device, but it also outperformed everything in many benchmarks, including programming. To understand how strong it is in programming, if you tell it to create a full operating system simulator, it can. You want a Minecraft clone? It can build it. And here's the crazy part. It's not only powerful, it's cheap to run. If we compare it to Elon Musk's Grok model, Kimi2 is both stronger and six times cheaper. What's the secret? The model is built as a mixture of experts, specialists in different areas, language, coding, poetry, vision, etc. There are 382 experts. When you use it, it only activates the experts needed for your task. That reduces power usage massively because it doesn't run the full model every time. Did the US stay silent? Nope. In the same month, Google dropped Gemini 3 Pro, which honestly broke every rule. A mind-blowingly smart model. We tested it just like we tested the Chinese model. We asked Kimi2 to generate a simulated Windows OS, and then asked Gemini to do the same. The difference was insane. Google crushed it. Every icon worked, the calculator opened, paint worked, even the browser. Same thing in the Minecraft recreation, Google won again, mainly because you can actually interact with the environment. Google didn't stop there. They released Nano, Banana, and Pro models. And honestly, I couldn't find a single thing they can't do. Steel fonts, create full design systems, generate signage and menus without mistakes, create accurate anatomical drawings, draw blueprints for airplanes, and some of the images are so realistic I couldn't tell if they were fake or real. And if you upload an image and ask it to locate a tumor, it will accurately mark it. The model literally sees, 
plus thinks plus creates. To understand how well it thinks, if you ask it to modify a chart's numbers in an image, it won't just change the numbers. It will also adjust the entire y-axis scale to match the new data because it understands what the chart represents. Google now has the strongest image model, the strongest language model, the strongest video model, and, at least for now, the strongest coding model. Google is dominating every field, and not long ago, they were at the bottom, releasing some of the worst AI models. But once they took the lead, their stock price doubled. Note, while making this video, Anthropic released Claude Opus 4.5, which beat Google in programming and math. Then, while writing this script, DeepSeek released another new open source model. Powerful, smart, close to Kimi 2, but four times more energy efficient and 15 times cheaper than Google. This tells you the competition is ongoing. There are also confirmations that Grok 4.2 is coming soon and will outperform all models. And the same for ChatGPT 5.2. It honestly feels like we're in a loop. Every day we welcome the strongest model ever, and the next day, a stronger one drops, and the cycle continues. This proves that the race is still on, and every day a model stronger than the last one appears, and the real winner is us, the users. Before you say they're using our data, trust me, they're losing money right now. They're burning cash just to secure future dominance, so later everything becomes paid. Yes, they benefit from our data, but they're losing far more money in the process. But open source Chinese models ruin that dream by releasing better free models every now and then. And remember, if all AI companies disappeared overnight and AI turned out to be a bubble, open source models would remain as the legacy and the remnants of this war. And I personally think they are enough for us to benefit from. But what's this AI bubble everyone keeps talking about? Why does it remind us of a crisis that happened 25 years ago? with the exact same details? That's what I'll explain in the next episode. Stay tuned. You'll find the Chinese model link in the description. And if you want to try Google's model, I'll leave its link too. Just make sure the thinking mode is enabled. Also, on Google's AI Studio website, there are more free trials available. And that's it. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. Special thanks to everyone who supported the channel, your likes, comments, and subscriptions mean more than you think. They're what keep this channel alive. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next video.